द ईयर वॉज नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी वेर अ स्ट्रगलिंग कंपनी कॉल मैक्सवेल मोटो एंटर वॉल्टर पी क्राइसलर एंड ऑटो इंडस्ट्री विज ओसो पोटेंशियल इन मैक्सवेल इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी फाइव हे टुक द रेन एंड फाउंडेड द क्राइसलर कॉरपोरेशन वॉल्टर इंस्पायर्ड बाई हिस टाइम एट जनरल मोटर्स न्यू डाइवर्सिफिकेशन वॉज की हे डिडन जस्ट बिल्ड क्राइसलर He acquired Dodds Brothers and created new brands like Playmouth and DeSoto, offering options for every driver. Now, who was Walter P. Chrysler? What were his intentions? So let's dive into the inspiring life story of Walter P. Chrysler, the man who created Chrysler Motors. So with that said, welcome to Explicate. Let's dissect it every line from science to philosophy. We break it all down, make it shine. So grab your coffee, open your mind, prepare to be amazed. Wordplay, acrobatics, knowledge we raise from history's echoes to futures unknown and brace. Welcome to Explicate. Walter P. Chrysler was born in Wamego, Kansas on April 2, 1875. but grew up in Ellis Kansas. He wasn't born destined for cars but for trains. His father, a locomotive engineer, instilled the love of machinery in young Walter. He defined his father's wish for college and began a mechanic apprenticeship at 17, rising through the ranks of railroad industry. The turning point came in 1908 at Chicago Auto Show. He was captivated by a luxurious locomobile, a far cry from the locomotives he knew. This sparked a new passion for automobiles. Despite his role rate success, Chrysler couldn't resist the allure of cars. He took jobs at various auto companies. His sharp mind and problem-solving skill making him a valuable asset. He rose through the ranks at Buick, then Willys Overland, where he earned a reputation for saving company millions. In 1920, Chrysler was about to save the falling Maxwell Motor Company. He saw potential in the company and its workforce. He remapped the falling cars, the Maxwell, and introduced a new, well-received model. Chrysler's ambition didn't stop there. He phased out Maxwell and in 1925 founded the Chrysler Corporation at Detroit. He understood the market. People carved stylish, reliable cars at different price point. He introduced the luxurious Chrysler Marquis, the mid-range DeSoto, and the affordable Playmouth, capturing a wide range customer base. Chrysler wasn't afraid of taking risks. In 1928, he acquired the prestigious Dodds Brothers, solidifying his company's place in the auto industry. That same year, he financed the construction of the Chrysler Building in New York City, a towering Art Deco masterpiece that became a symbol of his company's success. They introduced groundbreaking features like one-piece curved windscreen and the floating power engine mount, creating a smoother ride. The Chrysler Airflow, with its streamlined design, was a futuristic marvel of its time. They weren't afraid of luxuries either, with the iconic Imperial competing with the best of them. During this time, Chrysler created a part and service division called Mopar, short for Motor Parts. This wasn't just parts; it became a culture. Mopar enthusiasts have cherished these parts for decades, keeping their Chrysler running strong. World War II called on American industry, and the Chrysler stepped up. They became a leader in military vehicle production, building tanks, trucks, and bombers to support war effort. The post-war era saw a new kind of driver. Young and hungry for speed, entered Lee Lacocca, a marketing whiz who recognized this shift. He championed the development of iconic muscle cars like Dodge Challenger and the Playmouth Barracuda. These weren't just cars; they were rolling statements of power and rebellion. The oil crisis of 70s hit all car companies hard. World wars among big powers are quite possible to control dwindling oil supplies. Just like it did in 1973 when an OPEC oil embargo led to an international shortage and rocked the global economy. In the Dallas area today, dealers raised prices to more than 40 cents a gallon. Chrysler burdened by debt and struggling to compete with foreign import faced a near death experience with high gas prices and high interest rate the inevitable started happening at Chrysler falling sales while its competitors Ford and General Motor were affected as well they were much larger and were better able to withstand a fall in sales compared to Chrysler
Lee Lacuna returned as CEO with the government loan agreement famously secured with a loan shark mentality. He led the dramatic turnaround. Fuel efficient cars like Dodge Omni and innovative minivans like Chrysler Towns and Country helped Chrysler win drivers back. The 19 saw Chrysler merge with Daimler Benz, then later with Fiat to form Fiat Chrysler Automobile FCA. This bout new resources the globally reached, but the Chrysler brand remained a symbol of American automotive spirit. And recently, in 2021, FCA merged with French PSA Group to create Stellantis, a global automotive giant. Chrysler's futures is now intertwined with the new entity. What will be next chapter hold? Only the time will tell. But one thing is for sure that the Chrysler will name continue to be force on the road. Thank you for joining us on this incredible ride through Chrysler's history. If you enjoy this video, then leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more automotive adventure. In the comment below, let us know your favorite Chrysler and what you hope to see from the brand in future. And also tell me that which brand story should I cover the next. Till then, stay safe and just keep watching.